Hey, it's Ryan with this week's Mille Lacs Fishing Report. It's early March and the perch and tulipy bite has been going great. We'll get started with the ice conditions. We have plenty of ice on the lake. There's travel all over out here, but a lot of it's limited to the roads. If you have a four-wheeler or snowmobile or side-by-side, -side, you can kind of get to wherever you want out here. You still need to kind of be mindful of slush pockets, but overall you have a run of the lake. If you're gonna be in a vehicle, my recommendation is to stick to the roads. There's still areas that are a little bit spicy on the lake with slush pockets and such, but there's plenty of roads out here so you can get to good areas where there is a good bite in your vehicle. I've talked to a couple of resort owners over the last week or so, and they have said that they plan on plowing out and keeping roads open as long as possible which is a good thing considering that looking at the forecast, uh, it's calling for a lot of similar weather over the next 10 days. So I think we're gonna have a pretty extended ice season, which is okay considering the perch and tulipy bite seems to be making up for that. I think this week I'll start off with locations on the perch and tulipy because what I'm finding is a lot of times they're kind of one and the same. You can find them in very similar areas. Uh, I've been spending most of my time out on the flats. That's where I've been doing best all season. But I know there's also guys that are going into the rock piles and also going to the gravel bars that are also catching fish. If you're going to be going to the rock piles, my recommendation is fish the deeper rocks. Try to find transitions is in as deep a water as you can where the transitions meet with the rocks. If you're going to the gravel bars, those hard to soft bottom transitions are always key but a lot of times you can go right up to the very top of them and find fish up there also. Now for the mud flats where I've been spending most of my time, the bite out here has been great. Um, most of the season I've been fishing them pretty deep, that 32 to 34 foot of water, and we've been doing really well out there. But lately what I've noticed is more and more fish tend to be using the edges than we're previously using them. Uh, we're starting to catch more perch in that 28, 30 foot of water. So there definitely seems to be a push closer to the edges of the flats out here. I've noticed the perch are coughing up a lot of different types of bugs. Early this season, I saw a lot of the bigger perch are coughing up smaller perch. And then it transitioned to a lot of bugs. I think it was mayfly larva and such. And then it went to the little leeches, the little bloodsucker leeches. And then there was a period here over the last week where I saw them coughing up a lot of bloodworms. So they've been coughing up a lot of different types of bugs over the season. Just today, the perch that I've been catching seem to be coughing up a lot of the mayfly larvae again. So I don't know if there's anything to that, but it seems like they're eating a variety of bugs. I don't see them eating as many minnows. And that's not surprising to me because we've been keeping minnows down all season while fishing and we're just not picking up a lot of perch on them. Most of our perch seem to be coming off of the bugs and uh, the spoons that we're putting bugs on also. Two of my best presentations for both the perch and the tulipy pretty much all season, but definitely when you start getting into March and possibly into early April, the two presentations that I'm gonna be using the most are just a small tungsten jig loaded up with bugs. And then the second one, which I use more for tulipy than perch, is going to be just the chain spoon, or some people will call it a flasher rig, depending on what type of spoon you put on it. The tungsten jig's been getting it done day in and day out for us. We can get the tulipy on it pretty easy. We definitely are getting the perch on the tungsten jig. And all it is is about a five millimeter gold or glow tungsten jig gobbed up with spikes. Now there's different baits you can put on there. Guys will use wax worms or minnow heads and stuff like that. But the reason I stick to the spikes for perch fishing is because the perch schools tend to move up and down the edges of the flats or sometimes you'll notice that they seem to circle around. They're only in for a few minutes at a time. So when the perch are underneath you, you gotta, be, you gotta be efficient about catching them and then getting your bait right back to them again and catching as many as possible in a short amount of time. Spikes stay on the hook really well. So using spikes, I don't think color makes that big of a difference for the most part, but just gobbing a bunch of spikes on your hook allows you to catch fish, get your bait right back down there, and it allows you to be a lot more efficient. And ultimately it means more fish on the ice at the end of the day. Now with the chain spoon, I'm fishing it pretty similar to how I fish the tungsten jig. I'm just jiggling it a couple feet off the bottom. That seems to be how I get the most fish. 
But the thing about the chain spoon is you can draw fish in from a, a larger area, uh, especially when guys use more of the flasher rig where they're putting a bigger spoon down there with a dropper, with just a small dropper hook on either a chain or a six inch bit of line. And what it allows you to do is you can jig that spoon up and down and it creates a lot of flash and the tulipy and the perch can see that from a long ways away. They come in and they eat the little ball of bugs that's right below it. So between those two presentations, that's about all a guy needs right now to get into the perch and the tulipy out here. So if you're looking at coming up over the next couple of weeks, the temperatures look like they're gonna remain pretty consistent, pretty mild overall. The fishing should only be getting better as we get later into the ice season. And I think there's a lot of opportunity to have a lot of fun on the big lake yet this year. So good luck fishing and have a great weekend.